Hey there, welcome or welcome back. This is Alt Function, my name is Jen, and today we are talking about open source intelligence. Open source intelligence, as the name suggests, is information available from publicly available resources. It's like being a digital detective and using the power of the internet to uncover valuable information. OSINT is a really important tool for various professions, from cybersecurity, federal agencies, businesses, and journalists. OSINT is all about gathering information ethically and responsibly to make informed decisions. The beauty of OSINT lies in its accessibility. Anyone with internet connection and a computer can apply uses of OSINT. However, it is crucial to prioritize ethics, legality, and privacy when utilizing OSINT. Just because you can access something doesn't always mean that you should. So with that disclaimer out of the way, what are the steps of conducting an OSINT investigation? Step number one, define your objective. Consider your overall goal and make a plan. Are you a federal investigator trying to locate a person? Are you a journalist looking to uncover information? Or are you a cyber defender looking to secure your company's assets? Your strategy and tooling will all depend on your overall mission. So knowing what this is up front will greatly help your investigation go smoothly. Step number two, identify relevant resources. OSINT involves gathering information from publicly available sources. It is crucial to identify the sources and platforms that are going to be most relevant to your objective. This could include social media platforms, online forums, news websites, public databases, government websites, or even academic publications. Three is identify OSINT tools. Like there are numerous sources available, there are also numerous tools. These tools range from Google searching, specialized tools for social media monitoring or web scraping, data analysis, and more. Some popular OSINT tools are Miltico, the OSINT framework, Shodan, Spiderfoot, and Recon NG. I'll link those in the description below. Next, we have our objective, sources, and tools. Let's get our hands on the keyboard. Step four, we're going to go ahead and do some keyword searches. Start by using relevant keywords related to your objective or information that was provided to you before. This will have been identified in the first step of our OSINT investigation. Refine your search by using advanced keyword operators to narrow down your search, such as Google hacking, which I go over in a different video. If your investigation involves an individual, exploring social media sites might be helpful. Analyze public profile posts, comments, links, who's connected to who, individuals, organizations. Don't forget to pay attention to geotags, hashtags, and other user-generated content that can be valuable. Monitor online forums and communities. Online forums, discussion boards, and community websites can offer valuable insight into specific topics. With any information that you collect, make sure that you verify and corroborate. It's important to verify the credibility of the information that you are collecting. As you're conducting your OSINT investigation, don't forget to document your findings. Following the steps above and utilizing the right tools and techniques, you yourself can conduct your own OSINT research. You might want to even go OSINT yourself, see what's out there. Guys, that's it to kick off our OSINT series, the steps of conducting an OSINT investigation. This is Alt Function, my name is Jen, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.